Praise the Lord. Amen. My name is Swiss. I want to welcome you to our YouTube channel, Some of the Day. Our God has been so good. And uh, we bless His holy name. And uh, today uh, we will pick up from the book of Matthew chapter 18. And uh, if this happens to be your first time, I humbly request you to subscribe to our channel and uh, comment underneath this video. Let us know that you are watching and we shall bless the name of the Lord for you in the name of Jesus our Lord. We are picking up from the book of Matthew chapter 18 as I said earlier. From verse number 21. In our previous reading, we read how prayer determined how far our forgiveness determines how far our prayers can go. And uh, Jesus wants to elaborate further on the topic of forgiveness. And today our title is up to 70 times 7. In verse number 21, Peter came to Jesus and asked the Lord, How many times must I forgive my brother who has sinned against me? Up to 7 times? Verse number 22. What did Jesus answer Peter? Jesus said to Peter, I say unto you, I say unto you, not up to seven times, but up to seventy times seven. Definitely it's not possible for you to forgive somebody seventy times, seven times. And this takes us back, or rather takes us to the meaning of love. The Bible says that love does not keep a record of wrongdoing. If I wronged you and you keep forgiving me, you can't keep the records of how many times I've wronged you. For close to 500 times it is not possible therefore when Jesus said to, to Peter up to 70 times 7 up to 500 times you are to forgive me if I wrong you and Jesus elaborated this further from verse number 23 Matthew chapter 18 and verse 23 this is the first part of our two part series forgiveness without limit up to 70 times 7 times you are to forgive your brother Lord said there was a certain king in a certain place and the time had come for him to settle accounts with his servants. The Bible says there was one servant in verse number 24. Matthew chapter 18 and verse number 24. This servant owed the king 10 talents, 10,000 pounds of talent. 10,000 pounds of talent. A huge debt. We are told in Matthew chapter 18 and verse Number 24. Therefore this king said, Let this man be thrown into prison. Let him be sold as a slave. 
together with his wife and children and all the property that he owes me. Put him in prison until every coin is paid back. Verse number 26, the Bible says, the man went to the king. He bowed down before the king. He cried out for mercy. And he said to the king, O king, have mercy, have mercy on me. Praise the name of the Lord. Have mercy on me. This man realized that, that there was no way while in prison there was no way while in prison that he could manage to pay his debt of 10,000 pounds of talent. Probably after finishing his prison term, he had to be sold as a slave. His wife had to be sold and his children with all the property that he owned. It was not possible for him to pay back the debt that he owed the king. And he pleaded for mercy. In verse number 26, he pleaded for mercy. Praise be to God. Amen. And this brings us to the spiritual interpretation of this text. We all owe God a debt. We are all debtors due to the sin that we have committed. We are all sinners. And there is no way why you are a slave to sin. There is no way why you live in darkness to be set free and pay all that you owe God. It will require more than you being behind bars. It will require more than you giving up your wife, your children, and all your property. You can't pay back the debt of sin. Praise be to God. But the good news is that when the Son of God came to this world, 1 Corinthians chapter 5, and verse 21. The Bible says that God made him, he who was without sin, to be made sin for us. He took it all up on the cross and he said, it is finished. That's why the good old song says, Jesus, Jesus, spare it all, all to him I owe. Sin had left a crimson, a crimson stain, but Jesus washed it white as snow. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We cannot repay God the debt of sin that we owe. But His Son came and died on the cross for us. And we live for Jesus. We live for Jesus. We live for the Son of God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. 
Hallelujah. We shall pick up. We shall pick up next week to see what happened to this servant who was to be put in prison until he paid. Until he paid every coin of the 10,000 pounds of talent that he owed the king. And learn about what is expected of us as children of God when it comes to forgiving our brothers and our sisters who sin against us. What is expected of us by God our Father? What is expected of us when you pray to Him? Forgiveness. Up to 70 times 7. Forgive your brother. Praise the Lord. See you next time. The Lord bless you. And the Lord keep you. Bye-bye. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen.